tragedy unfolding in the United States. An epidemic of drug addiction and death. For the first time, more Americans are dying from heroin overdoses than from gun violence. And many blame the prescription medication industry. CCTV Sean Caleb went to Huntington, West Virginia, also known as the overdose capital of the country, to find out how it got to this point. What are you doing? You're looking at the face of heroin in the United States. This is 24-year-old Danielle Ott. Her mother took this home video. It was intended to be a wake-up call for her daughter. And this is the result of drugs. Danielle is incoherent, a graphic testament to a life spiraling out of control. And to make matters worse, Danielle, already a mother of two, is pregnant again. She's a lot. That's my life right here. She's my life. Danielle has the unwavering support and love of her mother, Melody Anger, a public school bus driver. Danielle is trying to get clean and live her life heroin-free. Every time I would try to quit, I would get sick, and then I would want it. And it was just, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to be, probably. I tried to quit it. I tried to quit it. I couldn't tell you how many times. But with the fall also comes a shot at redemption. After trying and failing, trying and failing, Danielle is now on a mission. <laughs> Danielle quit doing heroin and entered a prenatal program. She's taking a drug called Suboxone to help with the effects of heroin withdrawal. Doctors say her ultrasound looks normal. But there's some damage Danielle cannot undo. Her child will be born addicted to opioids and the many problems that come with it. I just can't handle that, like, looking at my baby and knowing, like, I did that. Like, I just think that is the most selfish thing in the world. <laughs> Danielle grew up a good student with lots of friends. Not the kind of person one might think who would get hooked on heroin. I was really against drugs altogether. Like, I did not like drugs at all. Like, I would not talk to somebody if they did a little tiny thing to Like, I would freak out. But before Danielle was out of her teens, life changed dramatically. Actually, I found out I was pregnant the day after I graduated high school with my daughter. So how did this working class young woman go from a loving mother and serious student to a full-blown heroin addict? Her path to addiction is a familiar story in the United States. After the birth of her son two years ago, Danielle developed an ulcer. Doctors gave her powerful opioid pain medication. How long did it take you to get hooked on those pain pills? Not long. Not long at all. I wasn't hurting anymore, but I had it in my head that I was, like, my stomach still hurt and stuff. And so I thought I needed the medicine, but I really, I really was, I didn't need it. I wanted it. And then, then next thing I know, like, I caught, I, like, found myself, like, needing them every day, all day long. It's not uncommon to see first responders in Huntington assist overdose victims from the brush near the Ohio River. It's one place for users to get high. Doctors writing millions of prescriptions for opioids help fuel a U.S. crisis, a generation of junkies, involving hundreds of thousands of people. By now, Danielle was always chasing the high, but her prescription for oxycodone had run out, and on the street, a single pill can sell for $80.